There was no energy, no excitement, no celebrations, or even family photos. The tone was all business, and lawmakers got right to work. COVID-19 is affecting activity both inside the state house and out on the streets. Lawmakers started day one of the session passing by life-size cutouts of people instead of protesters. Education advocates used this out-of-the-box approach to send a strong message to lawmakers. Legislators in this session must override the governor's veto of the blueprint for Maryland's future. Inside the state house, typically bustling hallways are empty. COVID-19 precautions prohibit the public, including lobbyists, from visiting. For the meeting of the General Assembly, I now call the Maryland Senate to order. A staggered opening had the Senate meeting first at noon. Each member's desk encased in plexiglass. Some struggle to hear, others to see. One legislator equated it to working in a phone booth. The changes may have helped set an opening day record. Senator, that's 352 bills, 352 bills introduced on the first day. Uh, this is a significantly larger number than any other session. Will the members please come to order? Like in the Senate, the House struck a tone of all business. We got the people's business to do, so let's get started. Republican lawmakers support the governor's agenda. We appreciate Governor Hogan's billion-dollar relief package. We're going to be looking at that. The Senate president says the bill has universal support, but it won't be rubber stamped. We're going to move the governor's bill quickly. Uh, it won't look the same as it's introduced. On Wednesday, the Senate also convened a work group to discuss the state's response to COVID-19. Both House and Senate leaders vowed to repeal the law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights. It will have to be repealed in order to have real civilian oversight. Both the House and Senate will take up veto overrides. For example, as many as 20 bills will be on the Senate floor Friday. The House must first act on overriding the Kerwin education bill. No timetable yet. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.